want the kid who's all about what's your vision for your life? What do you want to do? When I see a little kid who wants to build Legos higher up, my world, I immediately go 20, 30 years out. Oh, that kid, well, we're on Earth 2 or Earth 3, and they're building the new interstate that's planetary, whatever it is, it's going to be amazing. When I see a four-year-old going around playing a dramatic play, I go right to the Oscars. Because that's how my brain works, because it's their passion, their vision. And we're going to talk about that because I'm going to throw some behavior management stuff in there. And one of the ways to get your classroom to run optimally is to insist, sorry, to engage the two kids that run your classroom. And that's the king and the queen. And if suddenly there you go, that's when people start, Zach, Billy, Joey, it ain't you. And if some of you are thinking, think about your king in your classroom. Do you have one king, or are you thinking maybe you have two kings or three kings, or do you have one king and two princes, including copycats? <laughs> and when the king is out and the two princes realize it, all of a sudden it's Game of Thrones in your classroom. <laughs> and I mean, seriously, that's how it is. You get the alpha boy and the alpha girl on board, the alpha boy is the one that gets all the other boys in trouble. You don't talk about the alpha boy, go do this, go do that, push him, do that, throw this book, I didn't do it. <laughs> The alpha girl, you know the alpha girl, and you're not invited to your own birthday party. <laughs> and you're just like, I can't believe it. 